All right, so what we have here is uh, a solution of silver nitrate that we've carefully measured, and the volume is uh, 25.8 milliliters. We're going to put that into a clean 100 milliliter beaker, pouring it all in. And what we want to do is we want to determine the concentration of this silver nitrate. It was just an empty bottle, um, unlabeled bottle, sitting in the back of uh, the classroom, not quite sure what the concentration is. In order to do that, I'm going to react it with a loop of copper wire. So we're simply just going to put in the loop of copper wire into the beaker. Secure that. And you can see that pretty quickly a reaction starts to happen. The copper wire begins to change color. What we're going to do is we're going to let this sit here for a little bit, let this reaction uh, complete itself, and then come back and take some more observations. All right, so we've let this react over the course of the weekend. Um, hopefully you can see there's a little bit of floaty solid precipitate in the bottom, um, and our copper wire uh, looks relatively untouched. There's a few things I may have to scrape off. Now what we want to do is we want to get all of the silver precipitate in the bottom here um, isolated by itself and then dried out so that we can eventually take the mass of that. And so I have uh, a filtration apparatus set up here, um, just a funnel being poured into a beaker and what I'm going to need to add to that funnel is a little piece of filter paper. So I'm just going to fold that and very carefully, just the easiest way to uh, make yourself um, some filter paper that's going to work correctly is just fold the filter paper in half and get that crease as sharp as you can without using your nails. If you use your nails, um, there is a possibility you could tear the filter paper which of course would let more go through than we want to. Then we'll fold that in half again um, so two times in half, okay, um, and if you are feeling really adventurous, you could fold it in half a third time. Again, make those creases sharp, but don't use your nails. What you want to do after that is uh, put the filter paper into the funnel, and we want to make sure that it sticks down before I pour uh, my solution for my beaker into it. Uh, and to do that, just take some distilled water, and wet the edges there so that uh, your filter paper <clears throat> stays uh, attached to the sides of the funnel. Uh, as you can see, we've got some water coming through at the end. I'm just going to now take the contents of the beaker, okay, um, pull out the silver wire. Let's not set this on the counter, though. I will be using that a little bit later. I can just set it in the funnel, and I'm going to dump the contents of my beaker in there, and I don't know if it's coming through, probably not, but actually the liquid, the solution, which was clear before, now when I put it up against the white filter paper, I can see that it does have a slight blue tinge. I'd take it out and show you, but then everything would go everywhere. Um, what I'm going to do now is just, uh, as you can see, there's still some chunks, quite a few, left behind in my beaker, so I'm going to rinse the beaker into the funnel. All right, cool. So while that's happening, um, basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my copper wire, scrape off any extra stuff that might be on it, add that to the filtrate as well, um, and then let this dry for a little bit, and I will take the final mass of my solid. All right, here we have the precipitate that did not go through the filter paper. Before I started the filtration, I took the mass of the filter paper on its own, and it was 1.09 grams. Now that I've allowed my precipitate and the filter paper to dry, I'm going to take the mass uh, again. And it comes out to 1.32 grams. Knowing this mass, it will allow me to use stoichiometry and go back and determine what was the original concentration 
of that unknown silver nitrate solution.